Italian Open was first played in 1925, but the last Italian winner was Massimo Manelli 26 years ago. So today, an impressive 23-year-old from Turin in only his second year on tour has the hopes of a nation resting in the final 18 holes. So what of young Signore Molinari? All the support following him today, and he certainly rewarded them at the opening hole. It's a short par five, and this is what Molinari did. Unbelievable start for the home favourite, an eagle at the first. And you can just imagine how the atmosphere will build if he continues this sort of form. Molinari leads by two. And it's not just that he's an Italian leading in Italy, he's a good player anyway. We expect him to be a star of the future, don't we? We certainly do, Doogie. He is the highest ranked player in the European Tour Order of Merit in the last ten players here. So he's in form, which is important. Coming into your home, National Open, he's finding greens and the putter is working well. All he needs to do is keep on doing that for the next 13 holes. Sixth hole, 459 yards, doing all the right things he is. Mr. Green at the fifth, the par three, but made his three. His temperament is holding up very nicely indeed, under the most extreme pressure. Session of birdies in the last half dozen holes. Is it to be the same story today? No, he's got that one. And the spectators hurry off to the next tee. Their man now leads by three. Very important stretch of holes coming up. It's this man, Molinari, who leads and looks to be playing quite beautifully. The swing of Francesco Molinari stands tall, important for a short man, only five foot eight. Big chest turn away from the ball and nothing extravagant. Compact, belt buckle all the way through. Molinari's well, second then into this difficult seventh hole, 473 yards. As Kim says, pin cut to the right today. Just a few paces off the edge. It's OK, though. That's a shot of a very confident man, did you? You may have just seen the flight of the ball. He worked that in from left to right. And when you're feeling on top of the game, that's the kind of thing you do. A chance to get a yeah, four-shot lead. Downhill for the first part, and it only levels out as it approaches the hole, really. Easy to bomb this one past if he really gets a bit excited. to have a very good temperament. Not getting too involved with... Four iron. A bit quick on that back swing. Pass in now. He's not shirking this. He is not shirking it. Straight at it, and it didn't clear the water by much. This for another birdie. And to move three ahead again, but it's not an easy putt. Big swing in this. Quite well enough. So he's got through seven and eight in two pars. And those are dangerous holes. On the right at 295, the only real problem. Oh, he's playing so well, isn't he? That's another very good drive. Okay, the pins on the left as well, but it's a par five and he can work it in. 
205 yards to the flag. Flag today. That's five paces off to the left. Sam trying to draw that one in, but just his line and pulled that into the sand. More sand, this time for Francesco Molinari. To the left of the ninth green. One advantage though, it's better than being in that fluffy semi-rough. Shots. Right. What's he made of here? This is not difficult. Downhill. Right to left. and caught him as well. Perfect response. Thank you. Out in 32, Francesco Molinari started with that stunning eagle at the first, chipped in for a three, and then followed it with birdies at the sixth and the ninth. Tee shot at the tenth from Molinari, the shot par four. Yeah, pretty neutral, really. Just held the blade square to open through impact. And that's not far away. Pace, perhaps more important than line here. Got to start this quite a long way to the right. It runs down the slope to the hole. Steady. Steady. <laughs> Not too difficult on a Sunday morning. Guiding it safely down the middle, is there? He's really laying into it and still playing very well. Pin fairly friendly, eight yards from the left side. Perfect drive. Now then, no rush of blood. Two putts, birdie. Mm. 
not a crisis, but a five would feel like a drop shot. It. And crucially, on the low side, Dougie, that's not a good sign. Only a power five. Good. He's passed the test there. The only real trouble was the water on the right, and he stayed with the shot there. It's another stunning tee shot. Six iron shot to come. 182 yards. <laughs> He's proving himself with every shot. in this putt, says this, an Irish carry of our acquaintance says slightly straight. <laughs> Not much in it, but it could be a lot on it. This for a two shot lead then. Oh. Just superb. significant is that? And again, look at the demeanour, look how calm and focused he is in acknowledgement of the putt and then straight to the next tee. Water on the right. Will he dally with it? So, Molinari. Three shot at 14. Ahead of them, Kosart's had a double, unfortunately. So he's gone 5-5, five, five, and Kosart's drops back to 15 under. He's gone, and that's another very important shot for Molinari. Had to stay dry, had to hit the green. What a nice cushion it would be if he can knock this one in. One of those punts that doesn't move as much as you think it might. Slope. Maybe just a little tentative, but still. You we'll always take a three here. And another dangerous hole goes by. And Molinari still leads by two. Solid swing, Kim, isn't it? It's another one. Another solid swing. That should be okay. Ball slightly below his feet. That, that won't bother him. He can reach at the far five. Inviting pin for him. Two iron, 261 yards. He's just pushed it. Oh, well, it's par five, so he can chip it close and still make his birdie. Chance to look at this swing again. Classic lines on the address position. The angle of the back, absolutely straight. No hunch. Taking it away. Chin up nice and high. That allows a full shoulder turn. And it's all about economy of movement for Francesco Molinari. Bottom half quiet on the downswing. Left hip opens completely out of the way. And a good free-flowing finish. In the circumstances, that's still a good golf shot. <coughs> His rhythm has stayed good all day, Kim, hasn't it? Third shot, par five. Absolutely 
Lovely support. This has been a truly impressive performance by Francesco Molinari. Bravo Molinari, Forza Molinari. A new Italian hero is born. So this for a two-shot lead. Performance 22 under, and that would be a new record winning total for the Italian Open. Yeah, he loves this hole, he's gone 3 2 2 so far. Two hundred and eight yards to the hole. Oh. Superb strike, just on the other back foot. Goodness, he's going at it again. This would seal it, surely. Such an educated cut. You knew it came from the left side. Yeah, I can't. Remember him missing many putts on the low side, did he? They like it. So does he. Right down the middle again. It's been almost machine like, hasn't it? I'm sure his coach won't be far away either. Sergio Bertina. Nine iron shot, looks comfortable. Straight at it again. Real exhibition this from Francesco, and for the first time he's beginning to look a little bit excited. It's only his 24th putt of the day. Steady. <laughs> Hand side of your picture has had a lot of business today. Wind's coming off the left. It's driven so beautifully all day. Wow. He's absolutely <laughs> nailed it again. What a performance. Hundred and sixty nine yards left, straight forward seven nine. How good is that? Absolutely breathtaking performance by this young man. Anybody else feeling how he surely must have feeling, but just poke it anywhere onto the green and free putt it if that's what you want. But to knock it that close, absolutely fantastic. What a player. I was being a little sarcastic when I said a straightforward 7-9. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so, didn't he? What a wonderful shot. Chico. Oh. Oh, 
Well, I found him to hold the pot. Francesco Molinari then for a closing birdie and to set the seal on a quite stunning performance. Didn't he? He just had to do it. And on come family, friends, fellow players. Alessandro Tadini is in there. Absolutely wonderful scenes. There goes Mum. Great pictures and great memories of the Italian Open this year. 26 years after the last home winner. Francesco Molinari gives the home supporters what they want, an Italian winner of the Italian Open. To watch another European Tour video, click here. Or to subscribe, click here.